Hello and good morning. So today we are going to look into Android Studio, the basic of Android Studio. So what uh, we are going to do now is to create a basic Android application uh, using one input, one output. So when you press a button, uh, the output will be displayed. So think of it as a Hello World application. So let's start the Android Studio here, right? Okay. So here is the standard setup. Okay, we go to here about the standard. And then you have to accept all the license agreement. Okay. And then for Intel Android, you have to select this one. Okay, accept. Then all you have to do is to wait uh, for all of the component to be downloaded. Okay, once uh, finished, so we need to click here, finish, and then we ha can start new project. <clears throat> so to start a new Android Studio project, what you need to do is just to click a new project over here, and then select a type of activity. So you may select an empty view activity, right? Okay, because uh, for this class, we will learn about how to use uh, or develop Android application using java instead of kotlin okay we will cover kotlin in another video but for now we are going to develop it using java since you all are already trained in using java so in order to use java what you need to do is just to change this okay into java okay, kotlin to java and then you can uh, type in the name of your application so here we can say that uh, we change the name of the application to lab3 uh, java right there you can change your minimum sdk so we can use this so if you have intention to publish it to google play store you may change it to api 30 and above right okay next what you need to do is just to okay wait for the IDE to launch okay then what you need to do any uh, thing is just to minimize this what's new okay this uh, have much more information about what's new in your Android studio okay what's new in the Android studio okay here you can minimize it and then you have to wait until uh, the Gradle has finished importing. So it will take some time. Okay, once uh, finished, we can run, try and run the application over here. Okay, let's see that if the application can run. So we have to allow this. Okay, this is uh, just a simple application. Okay, we know this. Uh, okay, you can uh, notice here, sometimes the antivirus makes uh, the build operation uh, slower. But if you have a faster uh, processor or RAM, it will offset the uh, delays. Okay, now you are presented with the a sample application, just Hello World. Okay, I will have to make some adjustment to show the full interface of this Android Studio. So you'll take just a moment. Okay, now I think you can see the full Android Studio uh, interface. Okay. You can see over here the top when you can, uh, you can play out or you can run out your application and here your selector. Okay, your selector. You can also pair your mobile device using Wi-Fi. Alright, okay. 
next our goal is just to develop a um, interface uh, for this application okay what you need to do is just go over here under rest and then go under layout okay let's see the layout we can minimize this okay just hide here minimize here and then this is the blueprint okay let's look at the one-to-one -one, uh, interface so this is the blueprint and this is the actual interface so you can change the design surface over here okay you can select either blueprint or design or you can also change it to uh, colorblind mode okay to you test your application under colorblind uh, for accessibility for colorblind people okay now okay let's say we create an application that accept uh, one name okay the text box and then we create uh, the button over here so that uh, whenever you put a name over here when and then you click a text box okay it will uh, display here hello world uh, with the name so in order to do that okay have to put over here the hello world right and then we have to drag um, an edit text over here okay okay it does you just drag the plain text over here so so if you notice here if you click in the hello world you find out the blue okay the blue okay the blue uh, widget over here okay the blue color okay this one they like the blue color and then the anchor so what you need to do is just to ensure that this uh, all four corners have a uh, constraint so this is what we call as constraint layout so you need to do is only to drag this here left and right top and bottom okay so uh what i'm doing here is meaning that uh, i've locked this uh, text box okay edit text to the hello world so whenever i move the hello world text okay the edit text will move together Okay, the edit text will move together all right okay next uh in order to make sure that the edit text uh would look uh easy on the eyes uh in the mobile application you need to adjust the length and then the width so to adjust the width we have to go over here layout width okay, select match constraint so it will fill in uh, the full okay full over here in the full screen but it's still lacking something so we can also adjust the okay layout with uh the layout margin right you can still change the layout margin over here so we have margin left and right so you can expand slightly expand this to view uh layout left or right okay so you can see that this is a uh, layout margin margin left margin right okay just put here 16 dp which is a uh, standard for mobile device okay now you go here to margin and then go to margin right 16 dp okay you have something that follows the length okay, left and right okay completely centered and then you have a margin between uh, hello world and this edit tag. You can also change that to a more uh, closer gap. Okay, just likely 16 or 24 uh, would do it. Okay, 16. And then choose a button. Okay, just drag button over here. So just repeat the uh, the process. Okay, just constrain it. Okay, do not forget to constrain your uh, layout okay i'm going to do this as fast as i can right so you wouldn't waste any time you go over here okay and then you change the layout width right in the button and then you have to go to left and right okay so we have here okay something that looks uh approximately like a proper mobile application 
Okay, this is your uh, mobile application. You can see that it could be clicked over here. Okay, let's just minimize again. Okay, this one I've anchored it to the top. Okay, uh, it's actually you have to anchor it to the uh, edit text over here. So what you need to do is just to click here. Okay, at this uh, uh, blue, okay, blue anchor point. Okay, and then you have to reconstrain over here. All right. Okay, so that, okay, it would attach nicely. Okay, so we are going to relook back the, all right, it attached nicely. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, what you need to do on the desktop, all right, is to rename this according to the Java convention. So this is a type of edit text over here, edit text. So plain text, it is edit text type. So just type et, name. Okay, and then refactor. And then you may have to go to the value. Okay, the value. So we have to click here in the declare attribute. Okay, look at the text or value. It just ensure that it is uh, erased. Okay, so it becomes something like this. And then you have to find hint. Okay, lah, just like this. You type name. Okay, so that whenever you are running it, okay, you can type the name over here. Uh, it acts as a label. Okay. And you can write this something like this. So now we are going to make this button function. So when we click here, button, so the hello world here would uh, be written as hello world, Freddy. All right. Okay, what we need to do here is just to click the button. Okay, just rename the button as PTN uh, submit. Okay. All right, over here. And then the text would be submit. So if change to submit. Okay, what left to do here is just to click back at the hello world. Okay, uh, designated this as a uh, output. So this is because uh, it is a text view. So we have to put here text view output. Okay, designated it as an output. Right, okay. Now we have to go to the source code. Okay. Okay, the source code function is to ensure that the code is um yeah, the action here would be linked back to this activity main so you need to check the id uh, of each of your screen okay id each of your uh, screen element and widget so that you can link it with your uh, programming part Okay, I'm going to change some of these uh, settings so that the editor appear a little bit larger. Okay, uh, okay. I'm doing this so that you can see it uh, much more clearly. So here you need to declare the button. Okay, remember the button is btn submit. And then we have edit text. So this is the class edit text. <laughs> and then of course we have the output. Okay, the text view. TV output. So uh, here is red. Okay, you have to go uh, use the cursor over here so that it can go over here. And then you can see the hint. Okay, the hint asks you to press alternate and enter. So just press alternate and then enter. It will import the class. So this is what happening in the background. Okay, it import here button edit text. So for text text view, ensure that you can uh, highlight it and then press alternate enter. It will import the class. It becomes something like this. Okay, I make some sticks, so you have to go here inside the class. Okay, class level, class level variable. Okay, class level object. Okay, so paste here under class. Okay, main activity class. 
Right, okay, next, uh, what you need to do is just go under set content view. Okay, this is where uh, your layout or your screen will be displayed. So take note here, this is activity main and here is also the screen name, activity name, XML, the screen definition. So this will be linked over here. So what you need to do is just to link this uh, button through the use of programming. So to do this, you only have to use uh, here to link this object is your widget or screen element. So you just type here. So if you have, uh, are used to JavaScript, you will notice that this is um, pretty much just like JavaScript. So if you are using JavaScript, you may be familiar with document find by ID. Okay, document dot find by ID. So this is uh, a similar concept. Okay, find this one is find view by ID. If you are familiar with JavaScript, you may have a uh, document dot find by ID. Okay, we can see here, right? Okay, pretty name. So if you want it to uh, be more Descriptive, you can also change this to et name, right? Yeah, just like this one. Okay, edit that name. And then next we have db output. Okay, so you have done with uh, declaration and assignment. Okay, this one is called assignment. This one is declaration. Okay, we need to add the functionality to the uh, this button so that when you click this button, it will do something like read uh, from edit text and then display it to the output. So we can add the event. Okay, we can set the event. Okay, now we set the listener. So if you are familiar with Java Swing or Java GUI, we'll see that uh, you can assign listener. So here and then you type the space. You just have to type on click listener over here. Then it is on click. So this is the event. So what happened when you click the button? So on click, so what will happen? So for here, you need to read the it name, right? It name, get text, okay, get text like this, and then to string, okay. Okay, you can get the name, okay, name over here. And then you need to display it to the TV output, all right? TV output. Okay, that text, name. And then if you want to make it more interesting, you can put a hello. Okay, just like this one. All right, okay, hello world, name. So to test the application, just press uh, play. Or reload. Okay. Okay, get that here. Okay, so the name over here, and then you can change it. All right. So there it is. How you create a simple mobile application? Right. Only a simple mobile application at it. So, uh, if you continue, uh, I can show you how to add a new button, right? A new button. So, only continue if you are interested to what happened if you what if you add a new button and then that button is clear. So to clear out the name over here and then to reset back the name over here. So we can add another button. Okay, to reset uh the hello world and then put uh, the name. Right, firstly, I have to um, do some correction over here. There is an extra W, right? And then minimize it. So if you want to make modification to the GUI, you only have to click over here, okay? And then drag the button over here. Okay, actually you can copy paste, okay? You can do a copy paste. You just copy here and then paste it over here. Then you can change the name of button submit to button clear. Okay, and then you can refactor it. Okay, what you need to do is just to rename this button into clear. Okay, so here you can become, click over here and then you can delete this. And then anchor this to a button clear. 
okay to the top uh, to the button click bottom over here okay sorry okay seem that i've made mistake okay over here okay so we may have something like this right next uh okay ensure that the id is unique okay text over here and go back to the main activity and then we have to add another button so the another button would be button btn clear okay repeat the process by assigning uh, the button clear it put here button clear find view by id r dot id dot btn clear okay now you only have to add the button clear functionality so this is the okay the end of the uh, button submit okay you only have to press enter you type your button clear dot on click listener okay you do a space type a new view dot on click listener okay and then you only have to implement the method okay just press alternate enter and then you can put over here tv output okay and then you have to clear the tv output set text and then clear it just like thing like this and then you reset back the et uh, sorry uh, tv output you only have to type back the hello world okay hello world okay for the et name okay you only have to have set the set text to clear okay then you can rerun this back okay you may have something like this okay you can press clear okay all right okay you can put here something like this josh okay hello world josh and then you click clear all right so the clear button is functional so why the there is a gap over here Okay, this is because of a um, device fragmentation problem and then something that we've done wrong in the layout. So to fix that, just minimize here and then go over here and then recheck back the margin if there is a margin. So there is the margin bottom over here. Just clear, clear out this margin. Right, just clear out this margin. Okay. And then rerun it back. Okay, no more margin. Okay, no more margin. Okay, you can also reload here and then receive it back. Okay, so we can run it over here. Okay, just press submit. Hello world, hello. Okay, we can put here. Walter and then can press it clear. Alright, that's all for uh this lab two. So we'll be seeing back sorry, that's all for lab three. So be seeing you on the next lab.